Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to learn you how to make this automatic furnace setup with six automatic furnaces in a triangle frame. This automatic furnaces works like this. You put in here your ores. If you wait a little bit you can see there it is smelting automatically and super fast and efficient. To build a setup you need six electric furnaces, seven storage adapters, one industrial conveyor, one root combiner, seven electrical branches, a large solar battery, a wire tool and a pipe tool and of course your ores to smelt it. To build a setup you need an electrical source. I've chosen for the large battery because it's great. You need to power this large battery. So to power this, you can use solar panels or a windmill. I have chosen for solar panels. So you place the solar panels and you can connect them to a root combiner. The root combiner you place on the ground and the root combiner and you can connect two solar panels to one root combiner. So there's after that there's one output. So you get your right tool and you connect it to your root power one and your root power two to the second solar panel. Alright, the output of the root combiner you can connect to the large battery, to the power in. Now you can see in the capacity that it is going to charge. There you go. For the next step you are going to place your seven electrical branches. You can place all seven just in a row like this. Now you can connect the output of the large battery to the power in of the electrical branch. After that you can connect the power out, not the branch out, but the power out to the next electrical branch. And you can repeat that just to every branch like this. After this we are going to place the furnaces. The furnaces are a little bit tricky. So for the first layer you need three electrical furnaces and some storage adapters. The first furnace you are going to place with the white right side towards of you. So I'm going to explain this. You need to make sure it's as far as possible in your corner. Now you can turn them on your keyboard with the R and now you can place them. As you can see the white side is here. Now you can place towards the white side a storage adapter like this. On the left side you need also one furnace with also the white side towards of you. So I try to place it right on the line and then of course the white side towards view. As you can see it's now right on a line and in the middle of this line. You can place also a storage adapter here. For the last furnace you need to place the front side towards the view and you can place it also right in the middle of the line like this. Now you can just fit in your storage adapter. After this you are going to power your first three furnaces. You take your branch out and you connect it to the first furnace. It's a little bit tricky where the power in is. If you can see it, yes, there it is. You need, you have three options, turn off, turn on and power. Choose the power one. Do the same with the other two electrical furnaces. So the power and you can just connect them to the second branch out. Take the third branch out and you connect it as well to the la last power. There you go. Now, if you now you have powered these three furnaces. All right. The next step you need to do is you are taking a half wall and you put on top of it a floor triangle, and then you delete the half wall, so it's open again. Now you need to do this exact same thing with the second layer. So you have the electric furnaces and the first one you place just right in the middle 
as far as possible. Right side is the watch of you. You can place a conveyor. The second one you can just place as well. And the right side is the watch of you. You can place the storage adapter as well. And the last one you can do the front to you. And you can place the storage adapter as well. Now you can need to connect these as well to your often power as well. So the same as well. So the power in here. The, you've got the power of the furnace right here. And you can give this one also power. The next thing you need to do is to get your industrial conveyor and you place it just right here. Now, what you can do is you can do two things. You can get a window and you can place it. Or you can just leave it open. I prefer to leave it open, but I let you decide. So, if you want to leave it open, it's really it's, it's, it's a lot easier. So, you get your industrial conveyor and just place it here. You get your last storage adapter and place it on top of the box. You need to connect the industrial conveyor to the power input. As you can see, there is now a red light flickering. That's normal, don't worry about it. You can give all this get them powered. Now to get them powered, you need at least four amount of range of at least to four. So you need to set them four, 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 the last one, four. Now to connect all this, you can do this two ways. You can wall this off, off if you have placed every furnace just right as I, I have, or you can just leave it open. The plus side of this is if you if you make it a window frame, you can place a window in it and it's always protected. And you can use this as honeycomb. Alright, I'm just leaving it open. So you take your storage adapter, your industrial out, and you're going to the industrial in of your industrial conveyor. Now you take your industrial output and you are going to connect it to your first storage adapter. You are taking the industrial out of your storage adapter and you are going to connect it to the next one. So as you can see, you are creating a loop. Now as the last one, you're going to the next layer. So you're going to this going to your next industrial in you make it easier to place a train for a triangle here for a triangle here you take a pipe go out to again and take industrial, industrial out going to the next layer so you're taking the industrial out of here the next industry in, out, in, and we have the last output right here. Now you can take the last output and you're going just to your industrial or to your storage adapter, and now you've created a loop. As you can see, you've created a loop, and now everything should work fine. You can put the ores in here so i put in 3k and now you can turn on this thing as you can see you can see the silver going through this adapter now you can just turn off on every furnace and as you can see it's now smelting automatically this is how you make the automa automatically automatic furnaces with six furnaces uh, you can do this in very um, in, in different ways. If you like this video, please subscribe. I will thank every one of you for the, the support I've had from you. And I wish you all a very nice day. Bye.